Far from the air raid sirens and bombs that ring out at home, a truer sound of Ukraine. The soaring talent of these young musicians now seeking refuge in the UK. To my house, my house have a bomb. Um, it was a really shock for me. In my area, we was have a really big, really loud uh, bombs and bullets. It, will, it was a really terrible. In the chaos of war, they left everything. Their studies at the conservatory in Kharkiv, their families, some even their instruments. I was running to the railway station with my bag. <laughs> One bottle of water, maybe some food and a passport. I don't want to have attention with my guitar. Helping them obtain visas is Stefania, the director of a music academy in London. She's managed to bring nine students to safety, but she won't stop there. Only nine, nine up to 20 applications that we made. We're now making another 10 applications. Unbelievably confusing. The application is 58 questions, but you know, students don't even know what is a postcode. It, it, it doesn't work like that in uh, Ukraine. It's a different thing. And amid that confusion, the trauma is still raw. We spent uh, five days without electricity, water, heat, uh, in total darkness because we had to follow the blackout rules during the military time and it was awful. Yeah, I can imagine. Oh, it's okay. Sorry. <laughs> sure, I miss my home. And and even when the right words are hard to find, music still speaks. I'm feeling like fish in the water in the music. It's my life. I'm thankful for Stefania Passamonte for what she's doing, what, it's, what she gives us a chance to change our life. I'm very thankful for, for, for them. And so here, for now, they're finding a new community replacing the cacophony of conflict with a symphony of safety. Helena Humphrey, Five News.